Yes, yes. So, I just got back from giving this client a quote for a whole fence that fell over. And, you know, I already kind of knew it was a problem as soon as I got there. Because as soon as I got there, I seen the partway fence job that someone else did. I seen all the materials from the old fence laying over there. I seen a bunch of poles. I seen a bunch of things just not even done right. So I was putting things together before the client even came out. I said, I already know this might be a problem right here. This might not be my job. And, you know, it's all good. So, you know, I came out, client came out and, you know, I was like, wow, the whole the whole area was flooded with water about. 10 inches of mud so i had to put on my rain boots i had to change my shoes everything for this and nails everywhere and you know construction debris you know a uh, uh, debris wood fences you know nails everywhere fence wet everything's wet so you know so she was like you know how much and i was like well you know this much for that job i charge this much for this and she and this client was like you know Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. The the other hauler gave me this price over the phone. And I said, I'm not that other hauler. I show up. I got the truck, the trailer, I'm here, let's do it now. And this client was like, No, 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 you're way too expensive. That's way too expensive. And then, you know, I'm putting everything together in my head. I'm saying, you know, the contractor who was putting up this phone, this fence, or they had a family friend putting up this fence, or they put this fence up themselves. <laughs> You know, and I was like, everything here is a problem. Nothing here is matching up. Nothing. So I was like, you know, no problem. You know, the client was like, no, you're way too expensive. No, this client. So I said, you know, I, I told her my suggestion. You call that other hauler back who gave you this price over the phone and you have him come do it. And, you know, that was it. You know, in my head, I already knew, you know. And then a neighbor came walking across the street and was like, how much did he say for that price? And she, and the client told him, told the neighbor the price and the neighbor was like, you know how much it costs to dump all that at the landfill? And, 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 and you know what I mean? So I was like, I ain't got no time to go back and forth. No problem. Wasn't my job. I walked away and I told the client, thank you very much. It's all part of my job. You know, you're not obligated to hire me. But if you do want to hire me and you want this job done right now, it's going to cost this, but you know, it's okay. You know, the moral is not every job is your job. We're not going to get every job. You know, even the biggest haulers out there, they don't get every job. None of us get every job. So, you know, you got to put your chin up and walk away. And you know, the next job is coming, but don't ever let these clients tell you, you know, what they're going to pay you or how much it should be. Because you're the one who's big, breaking your back. You're the one doing the labor. And then you're the one who has to go dump all this and pay all that. I'm not worried about the gas or the miles or the wear and tear on my truck. Because I got a nice brand new truck. Diesel. You know, this thing don't burn miles like that. Some people say, ah, yeah, 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 bro, where? You know, I don't worry about those type of things. You know, I write all that off. I write all my gas off. I write all my dump fees off. Everything is written off. Because I'm too legit to quit. You know? That's just it, you know, but the moral of the story again is don't let these clients tell you what to do or what they're going to pay you, you know, be professional and just say, thank you very much for your time. And you, and you walk away and you never know. Sometimes them clients will call you back and that's when you punch them in the face with that price and say, yeah, you know, you know, uh, uh, yesterday's prices aren't today's prices. Hello, this is your boy, Rudy. Just a little advice of the day. You know, keep on getting that money and, you know, let's get it. And, you know, another day, another dollar, another client. And that's it. You already know. Yee!